ranks anyway, so we might as well. This is an interesting start. So we did say that we wanted to do double DPS at the start, so we're definitely buying the broom. Um, whoops. I kind of want to get the, uh, the shield, too. Honestly, this might be a mistake. Potentially, possibly. Unless I can get me some space real quick. Yep. Not a mistake. I also got the spear. I could sell broom for spear. Even though we just bought it, though. If it was on sale, I'd say that's the better play. We'll roll with this. We'll see what, you know. We'll see what happens with this. Another pyromancer. He's got the health potion, and he's also got banana, which is concerning, but... We have the we have the better DPS along with having the wooden buckler. Pretty much makes us invulnerable for some of that DPS he's dishing out. But we're lacking on stamina and fatigue is happening and we die. Man, I don't know which one is better then. Because last time we just didn't have the broom, but we still lost. But this time we lost the stamina. I don't know which one is better. That is mighty interesting. Um... Let's just buy this to do that. Then that's a better play. We get a spike shields next round. Oh, wow. You started early. I like that, though. I respect that, Jello Joker. I respect that. It's my turn. Hopefully. Nope, not yet. <laughs> Spy you. You know what? I'm going to go lump of coals again. That was fun. Doing a lump of coals was fun. There we go. That's what I need. That's what I need. She you know what? Uh, well, yeah, we could do this. Put those in there just for that maximum health. Max health gain is nice. And we can also do that. Well, actually, no, that is better. This because the coal doesn't count. The regular coal doesn't count as a heat item. It's counting as a gemstone. But the flaming torch or the flaming coal or whatever it does count. Dragon Scale Armor, Axe Forging Hammer. Already in Battle Rage? Jesus Christ. But now that it's over, we still lost. Because that is nasty. <laughs> Good game. And we got the Chili too? I don't have enough money to get both. Gotta sell. Let's sell the Piggy. It's like the easiest thing to sell. Um. Man, how in the world? Are we supposed to do this? Let's see here. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Well, that doesn't work. Am I going to go berserk? Possibly. Potentially. Maybe. Essentially. <laughs> Very likely. Unless I sell two, you know, let's sell two fires. Just to buy this, that makes makes my job easier. Versus trying to struggle on filling slots. There we go. Damn, but I also need to turn the hero sword into the flame sword in the same round. Okay, in that case, let me see. There's a way to do this. Let me move this over by two. Let me move this down. Get that. Get that. And that. Awesome. Okay, that works. Awesome. That's way better. We got all our activations. Chili Goobert's going in. Flame Sword is going in. Yeah, that all works better. Way better. Going against a regular Gooby on a Berserker. Forging hammer, dagger, plus sword. I'd say we win this. Even with your Berserker mode, bro. We still win! Good game. Nice. Now we got Burning Sword. We got the Chili Goobert. Everything's looking beautiful. Um, let's roll here. I will get this coal. Let's roll again. Another Goobert, Blueberry, 
This was a good roll. This was a really good roll. I need another chili though. Buy you, buy you, reserve you. I don't know what to do with this broom now. <laughs> Got no idea what to do with it. It's just too long. The broom is too long. It's like annoying to use, honestly. Um, I feel like this is fine though. Until next round. I feel like this is fine. That's fine, that's good. We might lose this one actually. A flame whip with all that flame? That is scary. On the bright side, we do have double goobert. Which is keeping us alive and also generating even more flame. We're out of stamina now on that broom though, so... Yeah, I think it's time to sell the broom. Mainly because we're just out of stamina and it's annoying to have. Got another blueberry, I'll take it. Because we're gonna need it for the activators. One right there, one right there. You can go there. Okay. A little bit more space. Yeah, I don't know if I want the Draconic Orb. Ah, no, I need it. I need it. I need it to get the, the dragon. Okay, I need it anyways. All right, cool. I want to use a Molten Spear one of these days. I feel like it'd be pretty cool. But going against a Molten Spear plus the Burning Sword, a little bit of heat. He's also got a Mana Generation. Probably prepping for the, uh, the Fiery Friend whenever the time comes. But our speed is just better. So we take that one home. Good game. Let's... Should I get this or should I get the potion belt? Probably the potion belt. That's cheaper. And I should probably also get this whetstone to get that burning sword. I think that's good. I think that's good. Got pan, dragon claws, and the forging hammer. our dps on this thing 11.8 okay 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 i say we take this one the heat generation is just too much it's too much boom boom uh yeah boom third goober could be crazy but i think it's a little bit too much a little too crazy if you ask me that works surround you um and then i guess we do need something on this side though honestly i think it's just better to have another activator on that goober versus making this super fast yes yes honestly double burning blade could be kind of cool if possible or at least like a regular sword combined with the Whopper Tinger for that uh, that stamina gen. Could be really freaking good. All right, let's see what we got here. Shield of Valor, Holy Armor, Dragon Claws, Forging Hammer, plus the Torch, and then the Brass Knuckles. I say we take this one home. Plus, we're about to get that regeneration at that uh, 20... Uh, the oh, no, we're not. We gotta reach 40. <laughs> we don't generate that much heat. I mean, we do, but by the time that happens, the battle is probably going to be over, more than likely. We'll still reach it, though. Ooh, that Berserker mode hurts. There we go, 15 regen. A little bit of survivability never hurt me. Thank you, and game. Good game. Um, Let's see here. 
Yeah, I say we... Yeah, let's buy you. I'm just going to sell two flames. To buy that guy, put that guy right there. Now you're full on activations. Honestly, I think we generate enough mana. As long as we have two of these and we have no other, like, mana usage. You know? I feel like we're fine. I just need another chili. Give me that, please. Falcon Blade, huh? Interesting. On the Brass Knuckles plus some daggers. I can see that. A little stun build with Falcon Blade. Real interesting. Good game. <laughs> um, Roll. Yeah, roll. Ooh, flutes. I do love me some flutage. Flutage equals crittage. I love me some crittage. I'm gonna take it. Oh, yes, we got space after that. Actually, really good. Um, Where I put you, though? I can't move this over, can I? I cannot. Well, technically, I could. I could do this. The other activator over there. Sell the spike shields now, because the bunny is better. Um, and then... Yeah, uh, that works, actually. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, should I give me another blueberry? Just for no reason? Sure, why not? That works. Okay, so far so good. We're gonna need a little bit more space, though, eventually. Ooh, going against a dragon's nest. Very dangerous. Dragon nests are very good. Very, very good. He's only got one dragon, though. He's only got the sapphire, dude, but look at that. Very good. Yeah, I say we lose this one. Yeah. Dragon nest are very good. I don't even know why they're very good. Just the amount of heat that you're generating. How did you generate that much heat? Interesting. Every time you attack, you heal for seven. I don't know how you generate so much heat, though. Your only heat generator is the burning sword. Unless it was literally just from that. And you also have the Molten Dagger doing DPS. Using your heat, by the way. Also, Chili Pepper. I'm not sure how you generated so much heat, though. At least more than me. Either way, good game. Um, I'm not going to get you, actually. Or you. I will get this one. Man, I need a Chili! Please? Nope. God damn it. Um, I think I'm gonna pass on all that. Actually, you know what? I could just buy this. I'm a little scared now that I lost. <laughs> so I'm just buy the garlic. Spectra dagger? Plus a magic staff? With no mana generation? Okay. Yeah, no mana generation. But you used up your mana generators for things that use mana. I don't understand. Come on, Heat. Come on. Come back. We can take him. There we go. There we go. Get in the lead. There we go. There we go. Oh, crap. I forgot he comes back to life. <laughs> Not good. How are we surviving right now? Oh, oh my gosh. We almost won that. He came back to life and everything. We almost won. Just the healing from the Gooberts themselves. It's kind of crazy, actually. Wow, so close. That was very close. I wasn't expecting to come back to... I wasn't expecting him to come back to life, Hiking. I could get a Phoenix of my own. Or we could also buy the present. It is early. Still kind of-ish early. 
Decisions, decisions, decisions. Let's... I say we get the present, but I also say we get the Phoenix because the Phoenix can help us out with our DPS, which we kind of need. I wish I would get me another chili though. It's on sale. Yep. So I'm gonna buy you. I want you right here. I want you right there. How am I gonna put you right there? Do I can move you. Do a little situation like that. Um. I think that's better. So move you, have you as an activator, and move all the heat items over here. Somehow, some way. Somehow, some way. Uh, nope. Oh, I gotta buy this, don't I? Now we're not gonna be able to buy the backpack or this. We'll buy it next round. Buy it next round. Okay. Um. That works. Now where do I put you? I guess right here. I gotta have you somewhere, right? You benefit from the goobers though. Oh, you also benefit from the phoenix. Um. What if I were to do that? Put you like there. It's not as good, but at least I could do this. Or rather, move that there. And then I'm able to like max that out. Yeah, okay. That works. Okay, cool. That works. That works. So you got activators, DPS increase on the Phoenix. Uh, you're kinda ish maxed out in a way. Um, you're looking good. All right, everyone's looking good. All right, cool. Everyone's looking good. Give me another chili, please. Another dragon's nest, not good. Not good. I still don't even understand dragon's nest and why they're so strong, but they are very strong. Very, very strong. I think we lost this one. Well, we do come back to life, but all our heat's gonna be used, which is gonna suck. God dang it. I need to look at these dragon nests. Is it because they heal for seven each time they hit? And their healing is just insane? Is that what it is? Combine a shit ton of heat with healing? Cause they, they, they're healing for seven each time one of them hits. So they're healing for 14 health a second. 14 health a second. That's a lot of health every single second. Okay, 14 health a second. Um, I will now buy you though. Oh crap, come on, please let me survive this next round. Do not go against the dragon's nest. Whatever you do, do not go against the dragon's nest. Whatever you do, whatever you do, do not go against a dragon's nest. I'm getting chilly this round. Chilly goober. I'm getting another or, I'm, you know, I got my present. Okay. Whatever you do, don't go against a dragon's nest. Okay. All right. This looks even ish. Chilly goober, double burning torch, doubles a dagger. He's got no, wait. Yeah, he's got no mana generation, so I don't really have to worry about friendly fire. He's got a lot of heat from this though. So, we'll have to see. He starts off with so much more heat than me. I start off with six, he starts off with 19. <laughs> I mean, he does have all the flame for it though. 
Maybe that's what I should prioritize. Instead of going burning coal. I don't know, actually. Because I gained more after, you know, the seconds with burning coal. But is the weight worth it? I'm actually not sure if the weight is worth it. Because we caught up now. Now we're even. And we win! Good game. Alright. Okay, I got cheese! I'll take the cheese. Um, I'll take the regular sapphires too. And honestly, I'll take the, the amethyst as well. Don't care for the leather boots. TBH. Yeah. Sell you, sell you, and we'll start. Let's see here. Going against a double battle axe that's jeweled up like crazy. He's also got dragon skin armor, plus a bunch of dragon claws. But now we got double gooby. So I'm a little bit confident. A lot more confident, actually. Our speed's insane. Your battle rage is almost over, buddy. Oh, crap. Oh, that thing hurts. Don't hit me again, please. Okay, you didn't crit me. Let's go. Okay. Damn. <laughs> is that a ruby chunk? What the fuck? Okay. All right, we got a ruby chunk. We also got a chain whip. Um... I could maybe actually use that. Because our stamina is like actually really good when you have the Whopper Tinger. Because the more buffs you have, the more stamina you're going to have. And you're gaining a bunch of buffs from all the flame. So we might actually be able to utilize this Chain Whip. Or at least use it in the build just to use it, literally. I also want to use Ruby Chunk though, because that's awesome. We just got to worry about space. Where'd all this come from? The present. The present, instead of you gaining gold every single round, you receive items. So yeah, that's that's why. Just because of the present. We don't really need this guy, so we can sell you. So I can buy this. For space. Um, I could just put Ruby Chunk where the, where the flute is, honestly. That'd be more activations. Do a little situation like that. Um, can I put you over here somehow? Not really. I could put you right here. But where am I putting my flame sword? That's broken. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. <laughs> I can put my flame sword over here, I guess. Let's see. You're there. Flame sword can go there. At least it's still touching the chain whip. 1.6 a second. I'm going to need a lot more space, though. Oh, we also need the mana generation, so we got to have blueberries on the field. Two blueberries plus the regular sapphire should be enough for friendly fire. We're losing out on the activation on the chili goobert, though, which is unfortunate. But I think this will work. Yeah, I think this will work. So I'm going to sell you, sell you. I guess I'll sell the flames, too, because I kind of want to keep the blueberry. I don't even know if we need the draconic arm anymore. I kind of want to sell it. Yeah, I'm going to sell it. I mainly got it for an activate. Oh, no, I got it for a combination for the dragon, but I don't think that's going to happen. 
Okay, no more rolls, no more rolls. All right, I'm gonna need so much stamina though. Hopefully that bunny can put in some work with the stamina generation, so. So far, so, oh, nope, nope, we're at zero stamina. <laughs> so far, not good. So far, not good. He still, he has this he has a phoenix as well. Um, I think we sell the whip now, cause I don't I don't think we're gonna have enough stamina. Well, no, we lose this one. This is our last life, unless we can win somehow. I mean, our healing is better. Yeah, we actually won. That was in incredible. So much stamina uses what took it all. It's the, the combination of Chain Whip plus Burning Blade. Because this is 1.1 stamina a second. This is 1.8 stamina a second. I was hoping with us having Whopper Tinger along with a bunch of buffs, we'll be able to manage the stamina, but it doesn't seem like it. Which one did more damage? Uh, Ruby Chunk actually did the most damage. Wow. Chain Whip did 76. Yeah, we're definitely selling it. It's not worth it. Takes up too much space and everything. So yeah, not worth. Not, that's a big emerald. A big perfect sapphire. We're gonna need an armor slot now. But we did get Dijon Lamp, so there's that. It's not gonna proc though, because we don't gain armor. But I can use it as an activator. So that'll be good. Put the blueberry back right there. Um, you go there, I guess. We can just put that there. I mean, we don't really have an armor slot. I would rather have it for that 40% healing. To be fair, but it'll be okay. Give me an armor slot. Alright, it's not happening. <laughs> I did get a chili though. I'll take the chili. I will take that. Now we're broke. I don't want to go in this completely broke though. So. <laughs> what do you do again, Mr. Cheese? Gain 15 maximum health. Wow. The Berserker gains a lot of health. This I, I feel like the Berserker is a defense class. You have this guy just gaining 15 health and two random buffs plus the regular cheese. It's very interesting. Very, very interesting. Look how much heat we have, though. Our heat is an immense. Even with all that maximum health, I don't think it's going to matter. Boom! Good game. Woo! Oh, we got another bunny. Um, What do you do? Oh, uses two heat. To inflict two cold and gain 10 armor. Interesting. Very interesting, actually. I kind of want to use this just to try it out. <laughs> just make the dude like, put like a shit ton of cold on him. I also got another bunny, though. I would not mind using this other bunny. I have no place to put him, though. I could put him down here, but... I like that chili pepper. I guess we could put him down there. One of the buffs we gain is going to be... Well, no, actually. It's the, uh, you gain what you have least of, so we won't be gaining heat from it. Which is fine. Okay, and let's sell you, you. I'm just gonna sell all the heat. The more money that I have next round with the present, the better items I'll be able to get. I know what I'm doing. All right, all right, let's do this. <clears throat> oh, wow. 
It's my first time, um, not first time, but seeing a build like this at least. What a light Goobert. Very interesting. So he's got double Tuscan uh, poker, which hurts us actually, because we have no way of removing thorns because we got rid of the uh, the dragon orb. So we have no way of removing thorns. He's got three of those guys. Plus he's got double hedgehog, which gains damage per thorn, right? It's interesting. He's got a bunny, a little bit more. No mana generation for the crowns though. He's also going to getting that max health and then this guy, which all your pets have a 40% chance of activating twice, which means the hedgehog is going to activate twice. Whopper Tinger might activate twice. Bird may activate twice, getting rid of my clovers. So I'm probably not going to be critting. Interesting. We'll see how this goes, though. On the bright side, we're getting we're putting cold on them. So that's good, at least. <clears throat> Oh, we're gaining so much heat because each time this hits, you gain heat. I just realized that. No wonder we're gaining so much heat. And it's just going to keep getting faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. Oh, we're getting close to almost dying, though. That thorns hurts so much from the sword. How's the game over, though? But we got so close there. We got 60 heat. 60. Put 18 code on him. Man. He probably dealt most of his damage from the thorns. Right? Yeah. 100 damage from spikes. And then the hedgehog did 61. Rat did 55. 50. Tuscan pokers. That's pretty interesting. Ruby chunk's going crazy. For all that speed. Plus the uh, removing a random buff is kind of nice too. At least that removes the spikes. At least a little bit. Oh, I could put it on the healing now, though. I think that's way better. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's kind of crazy just seeing all the items just flop at you. Um, We don't really do anything with poison, so I don't really think the death scythe matters. The axe is kind of cool. <laughs> just increasing the damage each time you hit. Imagine we get rid of the phoenix for the axe. I think we'll do that, actually. Because the axe increases his own DPS by one each time. So, yeah. Get rid of the Phoenix just to get the axe in there. That also frees up some... Oh, we got a Badger Rune. Oh, wow. I didn't think we are going to get a Rune. Um, Item uses 10% less stamina. Useless. The on trigger is probably the best. Trigger... Uh... 3% faster. That's definitely the better choice. Um, Sell you. Don't really have a use for the Hungry Blade, honestly. Because both of these use up stamina already, 1.6. Hopefully, since we have two Whopper Tingers, we'll be fine. So definitely not using you. We can also set a present. It's the last round. So that's a thing. What am I looking for? What's the most thing that I want right now? The biggest thing I want right now would probably be some jewels or something. But we don't have a, we don't have any jewel slots. We don't have a, a way of getting jewels. Cap of resilience will be good. It's always a good, a good cop. Um, huh. Um, I'm actually not too sure. I don't think I want to buy this. And then the mana ore, we generate enough mana. So we don't really need it. Unless we want to proc the mana ore, but I don't think that's a good choice. Stamina potion can be nice, just in case. I'm gonna buy this just in case.
All right, let's put the chili here, right next to the cheese. Um, I'm just gonna put you over here, I guess. So I put you right in there. That works. Cause why not? All right, I think that's the build. I think that is the build. So we're using double chili gooberts on a axe plus the burning blade. That's our DPS increase right there. Axe itself and then DPS from uh, for heat gained. We're gaining heat from the ruby chunk with the fire. Uh, I kind of want to make this ruby chunk faster if I can. I think I can. If I were to do like that. Nah, I could do better than that. Something like this. That way it's inside two fanny packs. You can go back up there for you and this. Let's put you right. No, that's not going to work, actually. No. Crap. Man, I'd have to buy that potion belt. Unless I did that? No, that still doesn't work. That has to go there, which means this has to go there to do that. Yeah. Wait, maybe there's a way. Hold up. Nope. Yeah. I don't think there's a way. At least I get it inside of one fanny pack. That's better than no fanny pack, I suppose. There we go. All right. So yeah, boom, double, uh, double chili goober, axe, burning blade. Got the ice armor for no reason, honestly. At least it's giving them cold, I suppose. And then, yeah. All right, let's see this guy in action. Oh, you're going to survive a very long time. Triple dragon skin armor. He's also got triple stamina potions. And he's got double axe. That thing is going to be really strong. Hopefully our healing is going to be able to uh, keep up with all of that. That guy is very strong. And he's and he survives a really long time, too, because of the, uh, the double draconic armor. So hopefully we can just uh, stack up as much heat as possible and stack up as much cold as possible on him. Nope, there goes the battle rage. So now he's just extremely strong. But our heat's looking good, though. Our heat's looking good, which is great. So of our bus. Hey, that's game. That is game. What a good game. I just realized as well, you can use ice armor since you gain armor. You can use ice armor for a proccing on a degen lamp. Our degen lamp could have proc this game and made us even stronger if we set it up like that. This was doing 100 damage a second. What the fuck? The axe is so strong. This thing was doing 100 damage a second. Our stamina wasn't that great, though. We're at a 0.6. So even with do double whopper and all of these buffs, the stamina generation still is not enough. Still not enough. We were increasing our stamina generation by a lot. This is like 150 buffs or something. So stamina generation increase was like at least 100% increase with both of these. Still not enough, though. Probably because of all the speed, to be fair. But even though we were doing a lot of DPS, we were doing 160 DPS a second. He was doing 94. Our axe did more DPS than the double axe. That is insane. Imagine we got a double axe instead. Our regular axe was doing double, well, not double, but even more DPS. 100 versus 94 a second. That is nuts. That is absolutely nuts. And our cooldown was lower too, 0 0.5, 0 0.6.
Jeez. Even with all that cold, we put a lot of cold on him. It was 40% slower. And still, even with all that cold, you were doing uh, you're attacking every 0.6 seconds. Man, that uh, battle rage is nuts. That was a good game, though. I think Ruby Chunk really set us apart, though. Being able to gain on hit is nasty. Nasty. This activated a couple of times, too. Look at the health difference. Let's see where we got our heat generation from. I wonder what uh generated the most heat. It was the Chili Guberts. Plus friendly fire, but mainly, yeah. Chili Guberts plus friendly fire. Ruby Chunk gave us 12. Oh, the Chili only gave us 4. That was a lot lower than I thought it would be. Huh. This little guy only gave us 4. Makes sense, though. That was a good game. I was glad to get Ruby Shock that game. That was a good game.